Now, this Russia-Ukraine conflict has indeed escalated, and that has economic as well as military and political implications. Russia's one of the world's biggest oil exporters and supplies Western Europe, of course, with 40% of our natural gas. This vast country also exports huge amounts of basic foodstuffs. So if, as and when, Western leaders do impose heavy trading sanctions on Russia, as well they might as the military action gets serious, they'll need to consider the potentially big impact on the Western world's cost of living. Now, as tensions rise between Russia and Ukraine, the oil price has risen. Back in March 2020, the Brent crude oil price was relatively low at $32 a barrel. A year later, that had more than doubled to $65. One reason, broader inflation started to rise. This morning, oils are almost $100 a barrel, up a third since early January, as those Russia-Ukraine tensions have escalated. So oil's at an eight-year high and up sharply today, and that will push up other prices too, from petrol and diesel to the cost of many manufactured goods. Russia's also the world's biggest wheat exporter, if there are sanctions on that, food prices in the West could go up as well. And Moscow's just slapped a ban on exports of something called ammonium nitrate, used to make fertiliser. That's why so many farmers here in the UK and elsewhere are keeping a close eye on this military crisis. Because less Russian ammonium nitrate means more expensive fertiliser, which again could raise food prices. Yes, of course, this is a big moment for the UK. Diplo diplomatically and in terms of our military. But it's a big moment too when it comes to our ongoing cost of living crisis. Here at On The Money, we're focused on living standards, helping you to beat the squeeze. Millions of UK families are already finding it harder to make ends meet. And efforts to contain Russia, however justified, could raise our cost of living even more. So as Western politicians crank up the sanctions rhetoric, here's today's On The Money question. Rising east-west tensions. Will food and energy prices go up 